Alright, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be reacting to Edita Gorniak Tonieja. I was a professional pianist and my music has been used on TV shows. Crazy story, I actually met her and we spent a whole entire afternoon with her. We were listening and dancing the music together. It was a crazy afternoon. I'm gonna tell that story at the end of this video, but it prompted me to want to look her up. And apparently she was one of the most famous Polish singers because she almost won Eurovision. And I loved her dress. I loved the performance. It's so simple, right? But she has so much stage presence that she didn't need a lot more than just her voice and that beautiful dress to really light up the stage. Crazy, 1994 is when I was born. So this is like 30 years ago. She still looks good and I, even in person today, I feel like she hasn't changed that much and her voice is still as great as ever. I actually played piano and we got to sing together, but I'll tell that story when we finish. I love her voice. You know, normally when I hear Polish music sung, it doesn't sound that good because the way that the consonants are formed don't equate well into like singing music. I actually think she's doing a very fantastic job. Consonants are very hard to sing. They almost become like rhythms and it's very difficult to change notes while you're singing all these consonants. If everything you're singing is a bunch of vowels, a lot of romance languages sound really nice. And that's why English is also quite nice because there's a big emphasis on the vowels, right? That guitar is really nice. There are some things in the background that I think they're like fiddles or strings. I don't know if they were trying to sound like horns, but they're like dun 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 dun. I think they're strings. Yep, the strings. There's like a nice little cello going on in the right ear and then the left ear there's like a little bit of violin going on over there. I don't know if it's a quartet, but there's definitely at least two. I think there's three actually. Actually no, there's four because there are two high strings instruments going on. <laughs> Fantastic. Ooh, wow, it's so clean. Gosh. So when I was hanging out with her, she told me that she never received any formal training. She just kind of saying how she felt. And it's extremely impressive because how cleanly she's hitting all the notes is amazing. When she switches from her chest voice to her head voice, there's no noticeable difference. And she's hitting every single pitch right on it with a lot of strength. That's very difficult to do. Wow, 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 wow. 
Yeah, okay, so now I understand why she's so famous. Oh man, I love this song. I think it's, you know, typical 90s ballad, but I think music back in the day was just way better. They just don't make music like this anymore. So how did I come to meet Edita? Okay, so the last time I was in Warsaw, I linked up with another YouTube channel, uh, Jinki Ucho, which we're going to be doing a collaboration. That video will be coming out in a couple of weeks. Anna, who runs the channel, her husband is actually a music producer. They have a whole entire studio there. Apparently, Edita never lets people into her sessions, but for some reason, because I asked to see the studio, she was open to it so we can get a little tour of the studio. And sure enough, it was her singing. Of course, it was a bunch of four and me so we had no idea who she was we talked about some really deep stuff you know I opened up about my divorce and how that changed my opinions on love and she was struggling with some things with her son and obviously I'm not gonna get into any of that because that's her business and I was able to tell her things from a perspective of a younger man that I truly think kind of healed her in a lot of ways. For some reason, when we were sharing these intimate moments, we ended up breaking down and crying together. There was a piano in the room and I wanted to play for her. So we ended up performing a Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas together where I played piano. She sang because she was working on a Christmas album. And it was just such a crazy afternoon. Like we had no idea that it was going to end up like this. Not only was she a very kind person, it's striking to me that Someone can be famous from such a young age. I think she was famous since she was 19 years old. And I can't imagine the toll that that must have taken her on her mentally. And I even asked her a question. I was like, do you have any friends right now? And she said, to be honest, not really. Because everybody who wants to be in her life now wants something from her. And the shame with her being famous from such a young age is that she didn't get enough time to develop friendships with people before she was famous because those are usually like your realest friendships right the ones that stay with you forever but i imagine when at her young age especially being a woman i imagine a lot of people were jealous of her success so early in life it was probably hard for her to connect with people that way so when i spoke with her i got a sense that she was very deep very kind, but also very lonely. That kind of broke my heart. And I don't think she deserved that because I genuinely think she was a great person. After we performed, she told me she's now living in Krakow and that maybe we can do a cover one day for my channel. And if that ever happens, I would love for that to happen. She's a very special person. I know she has a lot of importance here in Poland. I'm so happy that I got to meet her. Let me know what other videos I should react to down below. I'll see y'all later. Peace.